What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Recently I posted a video showing you how to turn an old PC like this into an emulation machine using Botticera and a USB drive. I've had a lot of people ask me how to install Botticera to an internal hard drive or even an external hard drive and I'm going to show you that in this video now. Before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is not a dual boot, triple boot, quadruple boot video. You are going to be installing Botocera on a clean drive or a drive that doesn't have another operating system on it. On my channel, I do not deal with dual booting or multiple operating systems on a single drive because when people start messing around with their partitions, if they go ahead and delete something that they didn't want to delete, it's going to be my fault. So I just don't deal with it. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to need is a hard drive. Now you can use a mechanical drive like this. This is just a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Blue SATA hard drive. I'm going to actually be using an SSD myself. I've picked up this PNY 240 gigabyte SSD. They're actually pretty cheap right now. You can get them for around 30 bucks, the Kingston or the PNY on Amazon. I'll leave links in the description. Now another way you can go about this is using an external USB 3.0 drive or 2.0 if you have an older one laying around. All you have to do is substitute the USB drive for an external hard drive. So if you follow my last tutorial when I showed you how to install all this, instead of using a USB, use an external hard drive. So what I'm going to do is install Botocera from within Botocera itself. If you have a USB SATA adapter where you can plug in an internal drive and make it a USB drive, you can always flash Botocera like that using Etcher. Like I said, just substitute the USB drive in my tutorial for a hard drive. So what I'm going to do is install this SSD in this old PC here. Then I'm going to boot up Botocera that I already have flashed to my USB drive. You will need to be connected online for this to work. There is an option inside of Botocera to re-download to another drive. You can use any drive size as long as your PC supports it. So check with your manufacturer. I know some of these old PCs didn't support like up to a three terabyte drive, but I'd say a one terabyte drive or even a 500 gig is plenty for what we're gonna be doing. So I just need to plug in the data cable to the SSD and I need to mount this somewhere in the PC. So I'm just gonna shove it right here don't do what I'm doing here. Go ahead and mount your drive up. This isn't going to stay full time in this PC. I just wanted to make a tutorial with it. So now I got my drive installed. I also have Botticera flashed to the USB drive. We're going to boot into Botticera. And like I said, you have to be connected online either with Ethernet or Wi-Fi for this to work. All right, so let's go ahead and install Botticera to the new drive. Like I said, you have to be online for this to work. It's going to download everything for you here. From the main interface, press start on your controller. Scroll down to system settings and enter this menu. At the very bottom here, you'll see install Botocera to new disk. We're going to enter this menu. Target device is going to be the drive we want to install to. So I'm just going to press over on my D-pad. I only have one drive here, so it's only going to show me the new drive I just installed, this PNY 240 gigabyte SSD. The next option we want to change is target architecture. So I'm running the X64 version, the PC X64. If you're running the 32-bit version, install the 32-bit. So I'm going to go with x86, 64, and finally, validation. Press left or right on your D-pad four times. Yes, I'm sure. Now triple check everything. Make sure you're installing to the correct drive. I have that 240 gig SSD I just installed. x86, 64, and yes, I'm sure. At the very bottom, click install. It's going to download everything and install it to that drive. It could take a little while depending on your internet connection. It's going to write it to the disk and when it's done, you'll get the finished prompt. Press OK. Now what we want to do is shut down the system. We're going to unplug the USB we've been booting from and we need to make sure we're going to boot from the hard drive that we just installed Botocera to. So press start on your controller and go to shut down system or restart system. I had this PC set up to only boot from USB. I turned all the other SATA drives off. So I'm going to get a warning here. I'm going to enter the BIOS, re-enable that drive that I just installed, and I'm going to boot from it. So unless you have the same PC I have here, you will have to do a little bit of research. It's going to be different from my menus. So from within my BIOS, I'm going to go to Boot Sequence. And if you take a look over here, I actually have the USB device as the first one to boot because that's what I was using. I'm going to move up my onboard SATA hard drive. 
I'm going to disable the USB device and I'm going to re-enable my onboard SATA hard drive. I'm going to save all my changes and now it's going to boot from that new hard drive that I just installed Botocera to. So this is just like a fresh install. The first boot's going to take longer than the rest. Give it a little time. You should enter the menu shortly. And you now have Botocera installed on a hard drive. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to do. Like I said, if you have an external adapter for your PC, let's say we could take one of these drives, plug it into an adapter, and then plug that into USB, you can flash Botocera like that using Etcher. Just follow my tutorial, substitute the USB drive for the hard drive. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.